bigger numbers. So you can get a better idea. For example, input, we don't know how much we need to buy the raw material. Wastage is 3% of what? 3% of the input. And input is not given. And output is needed 1500 kilograms of mm. 1500 kilograms. This is the output is required. Now let's draw the equation here. Wastage is 3%. Output that we are getting is before wastage or after the wastage? Uh, this is after the wastage. After the wastage, so it would be 97% of what? Of whatever is the input. So if okay, input yes. is 100%, we will deduct the wastage out of this and we will get the remaining output of 97%. Agree with this thing? Yes, sir. Okay, so out, output of 15 kilograms is after the wastage. And don't forget that wastage is 3% of the input. Wastage is not 3% of the output. Okay, so now we want to estimate the input. So to find out the input, what we need to do? We need to say that 1500 kilograms of output is required. The worth of this output is 97%. And then we want to find the input, so multiply with 100. So how much should be the input? 1500 divided by 97 into 100. So this will be 154. Six, I'm rounding it. So one, yes. five, four, six. Yes. This is yes. the input that we should be buying. Now yes. take the 3% of this. One, five, four, six. Out of this, 3% will be a waste. So how much is this? 1546 into 0 0.03. So waste is almost 46. So 1546 minus 46 we will get the 1500 kilograms. Why, what is the issue here? Because the wastage is 3% of the input, wastage is not 3% of the output. Clear with this thing? Yes, sir, thank you so if much. I, if I do an opposite working like you were saying, so let's say, mm -hmm. if I say the input, I don't know, wastage is 3% of the input, and output, required output is 1500 kilograms. What mm -hmm. if I take 100% of this, right? So this will, if I'm taking for wastage, if I'm taking 3% of 1500, how much will be the wastage? Let's take 1500 into 3%. So 1500 into 3%, this will be 45. So our wastage will be 45 here. How many units will be buying? 1545. So 1545 minus 45. Uh, what I'm doing? Sorry here. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Opposite I'm doing. So output is 1500. That's what I need. And then I am buying 1500 into 3%. So 45 will be a waste. So if I targeted 1500 kilograms at what I need, 45 is the waste. And for example, I'm oh. buying 1500 yeah. minus 45. No, no, no. Then if I'm buying 1455 as an input, so this will be wrong. Why? Because the loss is not the 3% of the output, but the loss is the 3% of the input. No. But what I meant was to add, so 1500 plus 45, but then even then it is incorrect. The number is incorrect. Number, then it numbers would be, be wrong. Numbers will be wrong. Yes. Yeah. Clear with this thing? Yes, sir. Okay. Next, there's one more question. If JFCO produces one unit of product L from two kilograms of material W to produce one unit of product L, we need two kilograms of material W. And the wastage equates 5% of the material input. And the wastage is, again, 
Wastage is not 5% of output. Wastage is 5% of input. input. So how many kilograms of material W we should order to produce 4,000 units of product L? So give it a try and tell me in kilograms. 8,000 divided by 0.95. 8421.1. This is input? This should be the input. 8421 kilograms because for each unit we need two kilograms. So output will be how much? For output, output would be uh, 4,000 into 2, 8,000 of the kilograms. How much is the wasted? Uh, output would be 4,000. Output will be 4,000 units. In kilograms, yes, yes. how much it will be? 4,000. Oh, okay. 8,000, yes. You need 8,000. Yes. Into 2, uh, into two okay. kilograms per unit, not dollars. 2 kilogram per unit. So output is 8,000 kilograms. And the input we estimated, that is 8421. And the wastage will be how much? Of wastage is 421. So 5% of the input. So 8421 into 5%, this will be 421. So if we are buying 8,421 kilograms, there will be a wastage of 421 kilograms. And after that, we will be getting 8,000 kilogram of output. And 8,000 divided by two per kilogram, we will be getting 4,000 units of product L. Clear with this thing? Yes, sir. Okay. After that, Wages, wastage control. Now, mm. uh, what are the reasons and uh, why we can have wastages? For example, first of all, inefficiency, carelessness, or other mistake by workers. Errors and mistakes of the workers will result in wastage. If labor is careless while they are working, so there will be higher material wastage. How we can control it? Definitely, we need to appoint a supervisor who can maintain a tight control that labor should be careful while they are dealing with the inventory and so on. Secondly, badly maintained machinery or other equipment. If we are having old technology of a machinery, so maybe we are getting good quality of raw material, but as machinery is poorly maintained, after every two, three hours, machinery is getting breakdown or there's a power failure on and off. So obviously this will also uh, be increasing the wastage. How we can control it by getting a better technology of a machinery. We can, uh, to, to save our machinery from the power failure, we can get the big UPS or big transformers or big electrical units to provide consistent electricity to the machinery. So there will be low power cuts or no power cuts at all. Poor quality of material itself can be a reason. If you're buying good quality of raw material, so maybe what with one kilogram, you can produce two units. But if you are getting buying cheaper quality of raw material, so maybe with one kilogram, you will not be able to produce even half a unit. So higher the quality of the raw material, the more efficient and effective will be your production and there will be minimum amount of wastage. Mm -hmm. After that, failure to identify mistakes at an early stage of production. What happens, you input your raw material, there are five and six processes. And once you complete all your five and six step of processes, then you realize that this product is a bad product. Now, what you need to do, you need to take that finished coat again, you need to reassemble it again, you need to mold it, and you need to use it as an input again, or that output will be a waste. So this is very important that if there are five and six steps in your production process, at the end of each step, there should be some quality assurance, or there will be some quality supervisor who will be monitoring the output. So if from step one, if we got a bad quality of uh, output, then it need to become input of the next step. So before it goes to the next step, we need to do the investigation or we need to monitor it. So at early stages, if we start identifying our wastages, so obviously it will 
give us more uh, what we can say uh, uh, more control over the wastages and it will be reducing our wastage after that holding materials in poor storage conditions this is the biggest reason that if you are holding some material in some poor conditions for example iron if you are going to keep the iron if it's a raw material and if, if you are keeping it um, in in the open air for example so iron will become rusty more quickly um, as compared to the uh, if you're going to keep it in some secure place where there will be less uh, water vapors and everything so definitely how you're holding your material this will also determine the amount of wastage if holding conditions are good so definitely there will be a less wastage and so on. Um, some of the raw materials can be very sensitive that it might require some air conditioning, for example. So if you're not maintaining proper levels uh, of temperature through air conditioning and heating or cooling, so that it may also increase the amount of wastage as well. Clear with all the steps of wastage control? Yes, sir. Okay.